Hiya folks, Nathan here, hope you're all well and welcome back to unboxing videos here on my channel where we have, yes, we're coming close now to the end of the buses uh, this is the Blue Star Enviro 400 that um, I mentioned in a couple of videos so it's finally arrived so we can uh, get this unboxed and uh, Due to me already having an Enviro 400, um, Spirit of London, uh, my uncle is actually having this bus, but um, he said he doesn't mind me unboxing it first and doing a review of it, and then um, he can have that. So, yeah, this is possibly the sec third to last bus we're going to look at now on this um on this channel at least for a good while um, there's this one there's um, a Metro Camel Wayman Metro bus that we're gonna have a look at um, which I've bought for my friend Adam Flavel and there is a a bus that I never thought I'd get my hands on but I'm not going to reveal that to you until that video but let's just say I cannot wait to unbox that beautiful girl on camera so let's get cracking with this so this is a uh, sorry about the glare I am trying trying to minimize that but there's just nothing I can do basically uh, oh I've lost what I was gonna say now what was I gonna say I've lost what I was uh, forgot what I was gonna say Anyway, let's get cracking with this. Let's get cracking with this. So we'll have a look at the box. Uh, we'll get the model out. Obviously, we'll have a good look at her. Set her down on the road, as we call it. Set her down on the road. I've got a little bit of research. And uh, we'll have a look at her. So uh, let's start with the front of the box then. So uh, this is the company Blue, S Blue Star. A brighter way to go and this is made by Creative Master North Cord Limited so it's a lovely blue box with a yellow stripe and the stars on the side of the box then it's blue on blue it's very hard to focus but you've got a picture of the bus as you have on the other side it says blue star uh, hang on, what does that say? Let me just grab Grandad Murray's magnifying glass. Uh, UK bus 0022. I can tell you this is the, the route number three. don't know where it's going, but uh, maybe it'll tell us on the back of the box, because I'm going to show you that in just a second. So that's the side I read. Look, UK bus. Says it on here as well, 0022. And then on the back, you can see, if it doesn't glare too much, there is a little bit of information there. So I'll just pause the, I'll just pause there for a moment, let you try and read that, or pause the video, full screen it. You might be able to read the, what's on the back. I will, of course, read it for you. And then there's some pictures there of what I believe possibly the real bus. Uh, top of the box, nothing uh, special. You've got the, uh, you've got all this on the bottom. Oh, Creative Master, North Cord. I will read that as best I can for you. So you've got all that on the bottom of the box. So let's have a little look what it says on the side then. I'm try Sorry if this video is coming across rushed. Um, it is. Coming up to four o'clock, we're losing. Uh, this bus has only just been delivered, actually. Coming, uh, coming up to four o'clock here in the UK, and obviously it gets dark quick. Uh, we're losing daylight, and obviously when when the sun goes down, uh, the lighting is very very poor. In fact, I'm thinking of buying uh, one of those lighting rings that uh, YouTubers and TikTokers seem to use, just to give us some extra lighting. But 
that's not set in stone. Unless someone wants to donate one, that would be very nice. <laughs> right, anyway, let's uh, let's carry on. Right, so Blue Star, UK Bus 0022. A brighter way to go. Right. <clears throat> Blue Star's unique Alexander Dennis Enviro 400 bodied Volvo B7 is the only vehicle of its kind in passenger service in the UK. The former Solent Blue Livery, uh, sorry, the Solent, start again. The former Solent Blue Line branded company was uh, launched the bus as its fleet number 758 in conjunction with the Wessex Heartbeat charity and would recommend mountain climber and Southampton resident R Rise Jones, who scaled the vehicle, complete with a champagne toasting on the vehicle's roof in Southampton city centre. The bus is used on a variety of Blue Stars growing into urban services to and from Southampton and has proved a popular and reliable vehicle among staff and customers. It was since renumbered 858 as part of the Go South Coast Fleet number series in 2007. Uh, not suitable for children under 14 years. Some models may contain fine detailed points and edges. UK bus 0022. One in 76 scale Alexander Dennis Enviro 400 bodied Volvo B7 limited edition. The trademarks Alexander Dennis and Enviro 400 are used by Creative Master North Cord Limited with permission from the respective proprietary owners. The right is reserved to amend specifications and colours in order to maintain authenticity and improve quality. A product of Creative Master North Cord Limited, a member of Creative Master Overseas Holdings Limited. Creative Master, made in China. Okay, so I think that's all we can gather from the box so without further ado let's open her up and get the beautiful girl out slide her out oh steady now before we do there is a little there's a certificate on the bottom so we'll uh we'll get that out and oh it doesn't look as if i need my screwdriver it looks like this is held in by clips so that's an added bonus. I mean, I've got my screwdriver off to the side, but I'm not sure whether I'm going to need it. Oh, just bear with me while I uh, get this open. I know what you're thinking. Nathan, why didn't you bring some scissors into the room with you? I never thought. Ooh. Just poke myself in the eye with that. That doesn't matter, does it? Uh, right. There we go, then. So, this is the uh, certificate or collector card, whatever you want to call it. This comes with the model. Blue star, lovely picture of the uh, they are the number three. Don't know where it's going now. And then there's the back. I'm just going to have a look at the front while you have a look at the back. The number three. No, I can't work that out. Blue star, a brighter way to go. I love that. I love that slogan. That's a brilliant slogan. O two two. I can't wait to get this beauty out of the box and have a look at her. So let's see then. Oh, I've got to adjust my position. This is to certify that this is a limited edition model and is number 0707 of only 1,100 distributed worldwide. Creative Master North Cord Limited. And then 
No, I can't work that out. I know it's the number three, but I just can't work out where, where it's going. So, let's put that away. I'll tell you what, you know, I've got a load of these little collector cards now. Um, not don't know whether my uncle would want the uh, certificate, but uh, I'll have to ask him. Does he want this? Does he want the collector card to go with it? But then again, it's nice to uh, keep the collector cards and remember all the models that I've unboxed on my channel because I'm I've lost count now of the amount. Come on. Come on, you came open when I lifted you. Oh, goodness. When I lifted you out. All right, let's get rid of that. And that. Uh, let's just make sure. Yes, yeah, she's absolutely fine. She's in perfect condition. Doesn't look like the engine compartment opens on this. So, obviously, this is only held in by clips, so it just you just very carefully prise it off. And there she goes. There you are. She's come off nicely. And it just shows it just shows you look the uh, the clips and obviously on the underside of the bus when I show you that you'll see the little holes in where these go but uh, obviously I ain't gonna worry about that I'm gonna keep this box though because uh, I might give it I might wrap the bus up and then put it back in this box for my uncle give it him in a nice in the box so it doesn't uh, move about too much now then let's have a look at this bus let's bring her in to shot and here she is the number three cannot for the life of me work out where that is going so here she is so this is the enviro 400 classic there you can see right in the bus there you see all the way along the bus and there's the driver's compartment and look at that look, you can see all the all the seats upstairs i love sitting upstairs i do So let's go from our usual way. Yeah, this way. Driver side first. Uh, yeah. And see, like this part does remind you, reminds me of an Alexander Dennis Trident, the, the quite boxy front. But then, as you go up, it gets more curved, and you know, it's a lot different. And obviously this is where the staircase will be so you can't there's no um, no windows here you've got the fuel cap though and the indicator that, that could possibly be the fleet number underneath the drivers cab I don't know and you've got these little stars just dotted around the bus so you've got the destination, the route and destination display on this side as well. It's quite unusual. Blue star, a brighter way to go. You've just got this lovely yellow stripe that goes through the whole of the bus. Now that window opens as well as that one. Here you've got the emergency exit door. Just behind the back axle and look at that the wheels are actually blue that's quite good isn't it uh, the back wheels are the front wheels are uh, silver with a bit of blue in them I think or are they blue as well they've got a bit of blue in them the back axle is blue as well you've got the radiator detailing there for the engine and then you've got the top deck, very curved, those windows open, those windows open, 
and that one at the front does curved window there turning around to the back you've got uh, a different uh, you've got the the curved shape there under the window uh, but uh, unlike the the London example they they've chosen not to black that out uh, they've chosen just to try and keep the window shape I don't know whether to make it look a bit more futuristic and then you've got this little oddly shaped window at the top there and then you've got the the brake lights underneath and the number plate engine compartment I don't think it opens certainly doesn't feel like it does and then you've got the the lights there and obviously on this side you've got a reverse light or with this like silver trim around them again supposed to give it a, a bit more of a futuristic appearance and then we're coming round now to the passenger side obviously no emergency exit on this side so it's more or less the same as the other side except for a few more windows because there's no staircase on this side the route and destination display and the front doors again with this like curvature detailing on the bottom of the doors and then we're back to the front it's quite a nice uh, angle of it isn't it front quarter view it's a very nice color though isn't it um it's actually darker then the cam the camera's making it out to be quite a light blue, but uh, it's much darker than that in reality, uh, which is a shock because I thought it'd be lighter. The picture on eBay like gave it across as this like s almost sky blue colour, but uh, no, it's darker than that. Uh, there's no roof detailing; uh, it's just a flat roof, and then underneath you've got the basic grid frame. Again, a little bit of exhaust detailing. The double wheels. Double wheels. Them tyres are a bit grubby, aren't they? Uh, there's the two clips where it clips into the back, clips into the base. And there should be one at the front there. You can see it. That's where the front clips in. I might clip it back on for him actually. It saves uh, bubble wrapping it. I might just give it him in the box and just say if you want to take it out the box, it just unclips. But there you go. So I think it's time now, yeah, to set her down on the road, as we call it. I'll just push her forward a bit so you get her into view. There she is. There you go. She's driving, driving down the road. Or oh, should we do it like that? I've, I've done it. I've done that actually with a couple of videos. I think we'll do that. Just so you can have a good look at her. While I read for you the little bit of research that I found on the Enviro 400. Now, just a pre-warning before I start reading. This is the same research notes that I read for the Stagecoach London Enviro 400. Um, I did try and do a little bit of extra research, but couldn't really find anything. Uh, it was more or less covering the same things that I'd already looked at, so... I couldn't really find any bonus research to add to this, but 
Never mind, it's just a little something to listen to just while I have a look at the bus. The Alexander Dennis Enviro 400 is a twin axle, low floor, double decker bus built by the British bus manufacturer Alexander Dennis between 2005 and 2018, replacing the Alexander ALX 400 Dennis Trident 2 and Plaxton President. In 2014, the Enviro 400 was succeeded by the updated Enviro 400 MMC and production of the classic Enviro ceased in 2018. The first Enviro 400 was delivered to Stagecoach London in December 2005 to replace the Dennis Trident II that was tragically destroyed in the 7th of July 2005 terror attacks, with the replacement bus being named Spirit of London in memory to all the people who lost their lives. The first order for Enviro 400s was by Metroline, another London bus operator which was placed in December 2005 and later became a fleet of over 500 buses. Alexander Dennis released the second generation Enviro 400 at the Eurobus expedition in 2008 with the main external visual differences being the incorpora incorporation of a line of white LED daytime running lights underneath the headlights in the main front light clusters. Redesigned front bumpers and the relocation of the offside emergency exit door. In 2016 the Enviro 400 was largely superseded by the Enviro 400 MMC. More than 6,000 Enviro 400s have been sold around the world. In the UK the Enviro 400 sold well in London with a number of operators between 2014 and 2015, Arriva Northwest received a total of 128 Enviro 400s for a number of services on Merseyside, with 28 arriving in 2014 and the remainder being delivered between January and July of 2015. So there you go, just a little bit of uh, information. I did try, you might have noticed, I tried to reword it and add little bits on. Um, I hope I hope I didn't ruin it. Um, just to try and make it sound a little bit different from when I read, read it during the Stagecoach London unboxing. But there you go, just a little bit of information for it. It's a shame we couldn't get more. But um, I don't want to be reading paragraphs and paragraphs on these videos. You know, if you want to research these buses more, you know, go onto the internet as, um, or look in magazines, you know, or the buses magazine. Um, you know, you'll find information on them. I only, I only do this just as a little bit of reading for you to listen to while you're having a look at the bus. Um, my mate Adam Flavel actually said, um, I'll, I would scrap that idea if I were you. Um, don't bother doing any reading on your videos. Let people look for themselves. But I enjoy it. Um, I enjoy just doing a little bit of research and reading a little bit out for you. Um, I've always been told I've got a very storybook voice when it comes to doing things like that. I'll be um, a great narrator. <laughs> But uh, there we go. So I'll just give you a couple of shots of the bus now that we've set her down. I can't for the life of me read the destination where this bus is going. Well, there she is. It's a front view. And then you've got that view. You've noticed as well that this is a single door variant. Um, obviously, outside London, single door versions are more popular. 
which is also why I decided to unbox this on camera because obviously it's a single door variant and the London one was a double door variant. There's a quick look at the back again. Yeah, very nice colour and very nice livery actually. I might, I'd like to get a Southampton one day. Maybe have a ride on one of these buses. That's if Blue Star are still operating. Who knows? But the next bus that I'm going to do, I can't wait to show you. And I'll tell you what, I won't be rushing that video because I never thought I'd be able to find this type of bus. So... Uh, the next video will be named quite differently. I've already thought of the title of the next video. I can't believe I found one of these. <laughs> You'll see why. All I will tell you though is the next bus is not an England an England made bus. It is actually um, a foreign bus and it's left hand drive. So that will be interesting to have a look at. Be interesting to have a look at. We'll have to uh, hold the bus in a different angle and go the up the opposite way when we have a look at her but uh, yeah that'll be very interesting but there we go I think uh, that concludes another lovely review I'm really happy with that bus um, I'd like to keep her but obviously I've got far too many and I did promise my uncle that he can have it and have it he shall. So, if you've reached the end of the video without skipping any anything, well, uh, thank you. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave, uh, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment in the comments section. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have subscribed, thank you and welcome. Don't forget, share the channel for me. Try and get me some more subscribers. It, it uh, certainly helps. And until the next video, whenever that may be, and indeed whatever that may be, it will probably, probably be that mystery bus that I uh, have been hinting at. But um, I don't know. It depends if she arrives in time. It will probably be another bus video. I can guarantee you that. But uh, until that video, whichever it may be, Take care, stay safe, stay strong, and as Grandad Murray used to say, stay happy, and I'll see you in the next one. Ta-da, folks.